Now, as the assembly elections draw closer, the political war of word has intensified in Karnataka with the JDS and the BJP at loggerheads over BJP leaders' slipper remarks against the opposition parties. A huge political storm has erupted in Karnataka with Congress and the JDS launching a counter attack at the ruling Bharatiya Janta Party. Take a look. With the assembly elections fast approaching, political parties in Karnataka have engaged in a bitter war of words. On Friday, Karnataka BJP chief Nalan Kumar Katil slammed the Congress and JDS saying leaders from both parties fought with slippers in their party meetings. Katil said that there was a rift brewing in the JDS between former Chief Minister H.D. Kumara Swami and his brother H.D. Ravana over who would become the CM face of the party. Our party is the same as the Chappal Gal Kayal. This is the Kutumbada party. Our party is the meeting as the Chappal Gal Kayal. This is the Chappal Gal Kayal. This is the Chappal Gal Kayal. This is the Chappal Gal Kayal. A furious H.D. Kumaraswamy hit back, saying Katil did not have the morals to talk about his father, former Prime Minister H.D. Devagauda. He added that the BJP will be wiped out in the coming elections as the people of Karnataka will not tolerate communal politics of the Saffron Party. The slipper Nataka comes just days after the pim and prostitute Nataka that broke up between the Congress and the BJP. Congress MLC BK Hari Prasad had called party defectors prostitutes. Congress defector B.C. Patil fired back calling Hari Prasad a pim instead. हरी प्रसाद याद चुनाव नहीं लिए तो बंदी थी, ना वो नेहरू के बंदी थी, जनरल आई क्या एक बंदी थी, नार्थ बारे आई क्या एक बंदी थी, हरी प्रसाद इलेक्ट क्या एक इधर है, हरी प्रसाद हिंबागी लिंदा बंदी था, हिंबागी लिंदा बंदो ये बतो रोड पक्ष नायक क्या इधर है, इन्दे एमपी आई की � while it comes to personal attacks in the pole-bound state. After pimp and prostitution remarks, now it's time for chapel politics in Karnataka. However, Katila said that he has utmost respect for Deve Gowda and he didn't intend to hurt sentiments of JDS office bearers and also said that he has not named Congress and JDS but he stands firm by statements. Nagarjan Dwarkanath for India Today.